And it's important to keep in mind that, um, you know, in 2008 with the with the first round of, you know, bailouts this, you know, since, you know, the new millennium, right? You know, uh, back in 2008, after the financial crisis, Obama, you know, a Democrat, hope and change Democrat, um, was in, um, and a big part of those bailouts were BlackRock, right? And then uh, Trump is in office, he's hope and change, but the Republican flavor in the 2016 election. And uh, when there's a crisis which starts before COVID, uh, you know, but with the repo market, you know, collapse at the end of 2019 and, and through COVID, you know, again, BlackRock comes in to play to essentially design what's going to happen. Uh, it's a good indicator, I would argue, of, of how uh, both parties are really beholden uh, to this apparatus. And, you know, not to necessarily pick on Trump more than uh, the Democrats, because uh, they're all really run by the same banking cabal, I would argue. Um, but, you know, Trump has been bailed out by Wall Street on multiple occasions. And when right. he was bailed out in the early 90s by Wall Street, um, the bankers that bailed him out, uh, one of whom, Wilbur Ross, he rewarded later as making him a head of the Commerce Department. Um, they said that, you know, uh, the, the reason they bailed out Trump, even though there was really no financial sense in doing so, is that the Trump name, Trump is like a character, uh, mm -hmm. was still an asset for them. And so I think that's um, a lot of where uh, what we've been seeing, uh, you know, or what we saw in Trump's first term was him, you know, repaying those favors. And it seems likely that he will continue uh, to do that in a second term, uh, because, you know, again, uh, it, it reminds me a lot of what happened with hope and change Obama and then, you know, hope and change <laughs> Republican flavored Trump, where after Obama showed you who he was in the first term, you have right. all these people coming out and apologizing and making up all these excuses mm -hmm. for why he didn't fulfill any of his campaign promises and did the opposite. This, of course, was before it came out that Citigroup had picked Obama's whole cabinet mm -hmm. um, after they, you know, helped cause the financial crisis with the repeal of Glass-Steagall and all of that.